Now, in other news, the U.S. targeted three sites used by Iran-backed forces in Iraq on Monday after an attack wounded three American personnel earlier in the day. Washington has repeatedly hit sites used by Iran and its proxy forces in Iraq as well as Syria. In response to the attacks on U.S. and allied forces since outbreak of the Israel-Gaza war, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said, that U.S. military conducted necessary and proportionate strikes on three facilities used by the Qatayb, Hezbollah and the affiliated groups in Iraq. Austin also stressed on the point that he and U.S. President Joe Biden will not hesitate to defend U.S. troops and their interests, while adding that the U.S. does not seek to escalate the conflict in the region. U.S. National Security Council spokesperson stated that Monday's attack wounded three U.S. military personnel, one critically injured. The drone attack was claimed by the Islamic resistance in Iraq. It is a loose formation of armed groups affiliated with the Hashid al-Shabi coalition of former paramilitaries now integrated into Iraq's regular armed forces. Joe Biden was briefed on the attack, which was carried out with a one-way attack drone. The U.S. President directed the strikes in a call with Lloyd Austin and other national security officials after ordering the Defense Department to prepare a response. A tally by U.S. military officials has counted 103 attacks against its troops in Iraq and Syria since October 17th. Most of the attacks have been claimed by the Islamic resistance in Iraq, which opposes U.S. support for Israel in its war against Hamas inside the Gaza Strip. The deaths in Gaza have sparked widespread anger in West Asia and provided an impetus for attacks on U.S. troops by forces opposed to their presence in the region. There are roughly 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq and some 900 in Syria as part of efforts to prevent a resurgence of the Islamic State group. Terrorists once held significant area in both nations but were pushed back by local ground forces supported by international airstrikes in a bloody multi-year conflict.